Okay, okay, calm down, everybody. Let me explain. Red Dead Online is the multiplayer mode for Red Dead Redemption 2. It was launched on November 27th, 2018, one month after the release of the single player mode. Since then, it has gained quite a reputation, and I truly, from the bottom of my heart, believe that Red Dead Online is misunderstood. All right, all right, just try to listen. Red Dead Redemption 2 told a beautiful story about family, consequences, and change. Some of the super exciting features was that you could rob anything and anyone. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Come on. It ain't much but here. Oh, shit. Nice doing business with you. You could plan your own one-man heist, and the interaction with the world was so deep. There were random encounters that could occur, and more than anything, being a cowboy was fun, but being Arthur Morgan was f***ing awesome. Due to the incredible experience that was Red Dead Redemption 2, many were excited for Red Dead Online because they believed it would deliver the same experience, but there was one major issue. Making money in single player was way too easy because Arthur could rob anybody, he could make major bank in just one play session. For balancing issues, Rockstar had to fix that. Finally, Red Dead Online's beta launched and players realized real quick that you couldn't rob everybody you looked at. And if you loot them, you'd only get a few cents. You couldn't rob shops, trains, anything for that matter. At launch, there was no heist at all. People were furious because in an outlaw game, you should be able to do outlaw things. The lack of content wasn't the only problem though. Rockstar servers were run on a hamster wheel, so everybody was constantly getting kicked out of sessions. Not only that, the game was incredibly glitchy as well. It's well known that Rockstar worked their employees to the bone for Red Dead Redemption 2, so it was pretty clear that all of the resources went into single player, and online was left pressed together with horse cum and chewing tobacco. Now to catch up to the present day. A lot of people still don't like Red Dead Online, because Rockstar basically abandoned the service. Jason Trier reported that the majority, keyword majority, of Red Dead Online's team left to work on GTA 6, or just left the company entirely. So now, the hamster wheel is all they got. There is no new content, there will never be new content, and the only updates Red Dead Online receives today is discounts on beans and money bonuses to whatever content they've already added to the game. So if all of this is true, why is Red Dead Online my favorite multiplayer game ever? And why do I still recommend it to people today? I think a lot of people forget just how good the core of Red Dead Redemption 2 actually is. Red Dead Online is built off of Red Dead 2, so no matter what, it's going to be fun. Gunplay is impactful, and because of the fun controls, it's easy to get warped into your character and feel like a Wild West legend. Your horse still plays a major role, and your bond can increase with it. You can decorate it, and the more you play Red Dead Online, the more you start to get attached to your majestic friend. The world of Red Dead is beautiful. No matter what state you find yourself in, there will always be something to look at. And just riding slow, taking in your surroundings is rewarding in itself. Hunting is so fun. There are animals everywhere. So you can always get your meat, cook it up, and maybe even flavor it with some herbs you picked up for a little punch. Although the interaction factor isn't there, there's is still more than enough content just from the foundation of Red Dead that makes it totally worth a try for either free if you bought Red Dead Redemption 2 or $30 here in Canada if you want to play the online standalone version. And even if you don't want to pay that price, it goes on sale all the time. So I'd argue that just trying Red Dead Online isn't that much of a risk. I'm somebody who loves customization. So naturally, GTA Online makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Red Dead Online lets you choose your weight, there's actual beards, and there's actually variety in what race you want to be. Opposed to GTA Online, where every race that isn't Caucasian just looks like a white person pretending to be something else. The customization is so deep, and you can spend a long time perfecting your character and it'll feel like it's worth it. The clothing variety is another thing to praise. Red Dead Online has such a good catalog for clothes that there are communities of people centered around the fashion part of the game. I mean, obviously you'll bump into those John Doe motherfuckers sporting all black, but you should probably avoid them anyway because they'll shoot you on sight. Speaking of getting shot at though, have you ever hopped on GTA Online and got killed the second you left your apartment? Well, if not, I envy you because I wish I never played GTA Online either. Everywhere you go, somebody is trying to blow your nuts off. It's like walking downtown at night in Southern Ontario. But while you can go passive mode, that's not as fun because there's no real risk to the game. GTA Online's voice chat is also dreadful. Either you get the- Ah, kid, you're trash! 
trash! Or the guy who forgets he had his crusty ass Nokia microphone on while he eats chips with the world's loudest fan running in the background. At the core of a multiplayer game, a fun community is what brings it to life. Reddit Online's player base, for the most part, is a dream come true. They interact with each other, they roleplay, even in the non-roleplay servers, and because of the posse feature, it really brings everybody together. Going back to the topic of not getting shot at, the benefit of Reddit Online not having flying bikes. A level 1, if good enough at the game, could still whoop a level 100's ass, because the base guns aren't that terrible. Although I will say, whenever I replay Red Dead Redemption, I want to get rid of the carbine repeater faster than a f***ing tumor. The community of Red Dead is what keeps me coming back to the game, and that alone is something that should be praised. Now a lot of people talked about how Red Dead Online doesn't have any outlaw shit in the game, and in 2024, that is blatantly incorrect. There is a lot of classic cowboy fun to be had. The story of Red Dead Online allows you to take on the role of an outlaw or a white hat bringer of justice to the lawless world of Red Dead Redemption. Your protagonist is thrown into prison for murder, your transportation to another prison is interrupted by a group of hired guns, and their employer tells you that the murder you got arrested for was fake? So you help this woman find the man who killed her husband, and avenge his death. The story's dishonorable route is really fun. You rob the oil company, you rob a stagecoach, and you rob a bank. It's just really fun outlaw stuff, and you can do it with your friends. There's odd jobs you can do, like prison breaks, stagecoach holdups, and my personal favorite, boat thefts. It's nice that Red Dead stealth mechanics are naturally way better than GTAs, so some of these boat missions, and other missions too, you can actually play like a stealth game. Now, of course, we are on the section titled Outlaw Shit, so we gotta talk about the elephant in the room blood money missions. Blood money is weird. You need to make enough capital, which is a form of currency used specifically for blood money missions, and you use capital to buy more blood money missions. Basically, you get it by looting chests and corpses during the minor crime missions to unlock the big ones, like stealing a prized gem from a well-guarded train. So there is absolutely a lot of outlaw-related content in Red Dead Online. But if you don't want to play as an outlaw, and you want to be honorable, there is a lot of non-crime-related content as well. The White Hat playthrough of Red Dead Online story is a blast. You protect the town of Valentine, you save a man from being hanged, you capture a notorious outlaw and bring him to justice. This way of playing the story makes you feel like an absolute gunslinging legend. And outside of the Land of Opportunities missions, you have arguably the best part of Red Dead Online, which is bounty hunting. Bounty hunting is why a lot of people still play Red Dead Online. You can turn in a bounty dead or alive, and you can be as dramatic as you want about it. You can hide on a mountain and snipe everybody, leaving just the target left. You can be chaotic and blow things up, or you can play it cool and just walk up to them. No matter how you approach bounty hunting, you feel like a badass. If you ever want to play interactive Django Unchained, this is it. There's legendary bounties too, and every single one of them has their own story, and if you complete one, it gets more difficult the next time you want to do it. I can go in on my own terms, can I? Very good. I can't tell- Tie me if you must, but really, it is unnecessary. Don't do it! Unhand me, you wretch! No! Now, while shooting people is fun and all, shooting nature is an absolute delight as well. Nothing makes me feel better than shooting something that can't defend itself. There is so much content in this game surrounding hunting, it's kind of crazy, actually. There's the trader role, which lets you trade animal parts around the world of Reddit Online. There's hunting missions, where you have to track down dangerous predators, which can be a lot of fun. I actually, <laughs> I love these missions. They really slow down the gameplay, and these specific types of missions give a feeling of suspense that isn't in any other part of the game. There's the naturalist role where you can either play as a tourist taking pictures of animals and sampling their DNA, or you can kill them and get a nice hat. It's a good time. I haven't even touched on the best form of hunting that's in Red Dead though, which is fishing. Fishing is so good in the game, Rockstar even made a competitive fishing mode. Other than that, you can also pick up some honest work like delivering mail and helping out people by recovering stolen property. There's just a ton of stuff around the world, and if you know where to find it, it's hard to run out of stuff to do. Now, it wouldn't be a multiplayer game without PvP. And the PvP in Red Dead Online is so overlooked. The PvP in this game is so original, because of course, there's the normal game modes like King of the Hill where you have to stay on a train longer than everybody else, but there's also real really weird stuff like competitive bounty hunting, competitive fishing like I said earlier, or competitive animal photography. The variety in the on foot game modes is hilarious. The reason I say the on foot game modes is because there's also horse themed PvP. My personal favorite horse mode is the racing, because you can pick up guns and get ahead of people by shooting them, 
which is really goofy in my opinion. I like that every game mode is unapologetically video gamey, and because of their untraditional nature, they're a lot of fun. I personally request everybody who watches this video try out the competitive modes because we need more people in those servers. And if I need to convince you, I'm really bad. The chances of you getting last place is next to zero. Daily challenges reset at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They always have something new in store, whether it's picking up a specific herb or skinning a turtle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Daily challenges are a great way to make money because the bigger your daily challenge streak is, the more lucrative they become. If you keep up a streak until the end of the month, each challenge will pay you one fourth of a gold bar, which can make you roll in gold if you complete a lot of them. Due to the variety of the challenges and the need to keep up a streak, they make Reddit Online way more replayable and will always bring you somewhere new on the map. In my opinion, they're the most enjoyable part of the game. If you complete a full run of daily challenges, you'll be rewarded a treasure map. Treasure maps are fun in their own right. You get them every five levels and they give you a gold bar and around a hundred dollars so it's super rewarding to seek them out. Daily challenges are great because having a checklist gives you an easy goal so every time you hop on the game if you haven't done all the daily challenges that day you will always have something new to accomplish. This last segment is an analysis. I've heard a lot of people say they got bored of Reddit Online really fast, and I noticed a similar pattern in all of their playstyles. They always rotate between bounty hunting and dishonorable stranger missions. While bounty hunting is fun because it's endless guaranteed combat, too much of it can make the action feel less awesome and more repetitive. The story mode of Red Dead slows the pacing down for you, but Red Dead Online leaves you completely in charge of when you want the action and when you want the silence. A great way to enjoy Red Dead Online is, of course, first thing you do, complete the campaign. And try to put some variety in your playstyle. Do a hunting mission, join a PvP match, drink in the saloon with some players, complete a bounty mission, steal some horses, and go fishing. If you take time to enjoy everything else the game has to offer, you'll find there's actually quite a bit to do in the world. And I hope that maybe, just maybe this video could convince you to give Reddit Online another chance. Because when I did all the way back in 2019, when the PC port came out, it quickly became my favorite multiplayer game ever. Now you might be saying, Justin, you fucking liar. If you played Red Dead Online since 2019, why is your character's level so low? And that would be because I impulsively deleted my level 200 account. It is not something I'm proud of. Don't do what I did. But hey, at least I'm a pretty girl now. Red Dead Online may not be for everybody, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth trying out. I actually think that GTA 6 is online could learn a lot from it. If you have played Reddit online, or haven't, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think the negative reception is well deserved? And even if so, do you think it's worth playing? Make sure to leave your answer in the comments below and I'll check it out as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And you eat baby.